Hi guys, welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki Manny Photography and Orms blog. My name is Manny and in today's tutorial I want to talk about part 2 about Photoshop basics and tools. Yes, that's right, basics. So if you're new to this tutorial, please fall back onto Photoshop part 1 of basics and tools uh, that we did last week. In today's tutorial, I will pretty much talk about the lesser tools and about the quick selection tools. Alright, as you guys can see, I'm already on my original layer here. We opened it, unlocked it and created it to red. And now we want to work very constructive. So first thing that we always do is just duplicate this layer and work on our layer 2. So if we m do a mistake, we can always fall back. Alright, either you can just drag the layer down here to under the new layer icon and create a duplicate or you can press command J to duplicate via that. Okay, double click on that and I'm going to rename that to layer 2 today. Okay, layer 2 and we're going to work on this layer now. Okay, let's start with the first tool which is the lasso tool. If you right click onto that tool again, you'll directly get into that menu and select all these different tools that you have. Okay, lasso tool, pretty much it's going to zoom in very, very closely here. Lasso tool actually just gives you the opportunity to just draw your own free selection. I'm working with a Vacuum Continuous 4 board, so I'm able to just very easily with my pen draw this. If you're still with a mouse, it's a bit harder, but just try it. If you now just go with this tool around and create circles, whatever you want to, you can create a draw very freely and drop it again and you created just this round selection. Or if you want to, I'm now in the normal mode, as you guys can also see, it changed our whole application mode mode here at the top we've got different modes to work in selections from add on subtract intersect you can feather that selection again and anti aliases which I don't really work with refine edge we're going to talk about that in the future all right so pretty much with this tool you can again just draw very along these say along the hand here very freely it doesn't snap to it or anything if you drop it it directly creates a selection if you want to add on that you can press shift again it gets you in the add mode and then you can just pretty much draw on from here and cut stuff out so if you working on some stuff really quickly this tool comes in handy sometimes but if you want to cut something out do it the professional way and use the pen tool over here I know you guys are still new to Photoshop some of you so I'm going to show you now a second trick which I mostly use to cut things out if you still don't know how to work with the pen tool alright let's get out of this press command D and we just selected our selection and we're still on layer 2 and now we're pretty much going to do the second uh, tool which is the polygon lasso tool now as I showed you in the last tutorial what to do with selections this applies exactly to the lasso tool polygon lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool you can copy stuff you can feather it you can uh, create new duplicate layers with that or duplicate just exactly your selection you can fill your selections you can do so many things with selections there's so different ways to work with this so in today's tutorial I'm not going to talk a lot about selections alright polygon lasso tool zoom in very closely again and now I just want to quickly show you guys a technique how I use the polygon lasso tool or when I started out how I use this tool pretty much what this tool does is again I'll just snap here into the room and it just creates very straight lines so say for instance you want to create a quick box you can actually do this with this tool just draw a square and it's not a perfect square but it's just to show you guys it creates pretty much just very straight on lines so if you need this sometimes this tool comes in handy if you want to cut out straight boxes or if you want to cut something out that's very straight alright press command D to deselect that again and now to show you guys how I actually started out working with this tool I zoomed in very very closely all the time at the top here again in our application bar different modes again and obviously feathering I'm going to say the feathering to zero pixels at the moment so you will have a really really hard edge if you work with this um, now how to cut things out. Say for instance I want to cut out the blue background and just separate it from the hand a little bit. Now when I started using Photoshop I didn't know how to work with a pen tool so I worked with this tool. Pretty much select into the room and now I just snap to my object that I wanted to cut out very very closely and just with small taps. Don't do a long straight tap because that will just look fake and you will have a super long straight lines which doesn't look nice at all. So just small taps, 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 taps. Okay so now as you guys can see I'm also moving around while I'm in this tool I can actually move around to my image via holding spacebar and I will not um, complete that selection so I'm able to just while holding spacebar move around now you can also see I pretty much created it wrong here or made a mistake so I want to fall back so how to do that is just press backspace and you'll go a few steps back okay and there we are so I want to still cut that out a little bit cut over here very closely to it. I'm just going to do it very roughly for the tutorial now. 
so not very precise but you should actually do this very very precise don't worry about all the hair over here nobody will really see that you have cut out this little bit of hair okay into the middle again and we just want to get rid of that blue actually so go until you start it where you start with your selection drop it until that circle appears over here and then just drop it and directly you'll see our whole selection has been completed okay I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit and I want to show you something quickly um, when I'm gonna delete this now you will see I'm just gonna on this layer actually deleted it and just gonna blend out our original layer this is wor working not very constructive so don't do this at home it's just for uh, the example quickly if you cut something out now, I'm just going to press Command D, you will see that actually we have a very, very hard edge and we still have a little bit of these blue pixels in here and that applies now to any background that you actually want to cut out. You will see that you still have this blue background in the back and you haven't cut it out that nicely. So that we don't really want that, right? So what I'll do is just fall back onto my in my history panel here onto Polygon Lasso tool and just go a little bit out. And now one trick that I always do with this tool, I'll go here to the top where we say feathering and I feather it to one pixel. Okay, say feathering to one pixel and now I'm going to delete it. But I'm not going to press on my layer to delete. I'm pretty much going to just create a new mask and mask this out because if I still have a problem, I can mask my skin or pretty much the hand in again and more of the background out. So I'm going to go onto my mask mode down here, press Alt or hold Alt and select the mask. Boop, and there we got our new mask. So now I'm just going to blend out my original layer quickly just to show you guys how the mask works we actually covered maskings already so if you haven't watched that please view the tutorial on that all right so now on our mask I'm just going to select the mask and I actually want to pretty much just quickly create a gray background just to show you guys how this tool works or how precise we are actually working so I'm going to go back to original press a new layer icon down here we've got a new layer just going to say that to gray and press enter okay now I'm gonna press command A as I said before I want to show you guys a little bit of shortcuts that I actually use so this shortcut pretty much just selected the whole uh, image or whole canvas size command A then press M for marking tool right click and say fill down here fill with use contents yeah 50% new gray layer okay that and directly we have a new gray layer with 50% opacity or actually 50% gray sorry Command Z or Command D to deselect all of that and now we can have a new layer just to show you guys how precise we're working. Alright, select your mask again and I'm going to zoom in very closely over here. Even closer, very, very close to this and as you guys can see our feathering isn't that nice. So you can actually feather it with two pixels if you want to. Now what I'm going to do, press uh, select your mask over here, go into our brush. And with the brush, like I showed you in the previous tutorials, uh, just very closely paint this out. I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 4 board again, so I'm able via my board really quickly to change my brush size. For those who don't have it, please go here to the top, select your hardness, say around 90% and size to whatever you need. Okay, then I'm going to paint in very closely here. Select my right foreground color. I'm going to paint with black, with X, yes, with black. And then I'm just going to paint out these pixels a little bit over here. Okay, and feather that also a little bit and just get rid of these pixels a little bit, not too much. So this is just doing it very roughly again. You should do this very precise if you do this. Also, you will see the bigger your objects or the smaller the objects are in your image, nobody will really see this hard edge or if you have a hard edge or if there are still a few pixels. All right, I will just drawn out a little bit of the skin here. So what I'm going to do is press X and just paint that in again a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to blend out our gray layer and over here you will see that we have cut out this a little bit. It's going to blend it in here again. I actually want to get rid of that a little bit as well over here. All right, that looks good to me and I'm done. Okay, so this is pretty much just my quick way of showing you guys how I work with the Polygon Lasso tool and how I used it at the beginning. Uh, this is in no means uh, the perfect tool to do this. I would prefer the pen tool and please work with the pen tool. All right, going to zoom in a little bit again. And now to the second tool, or the third tool actually for today, is the Magnetic Lasso tool. So on this Magnetic Lasso tool, I'm pretty much still in my mask here. I'm just going to select the normal layer over here again. What this tool pretty much does, it actually snaps to certain pixels. So you can also tap your way through here, or you can just go draw along some areas, and you will see that this line directly snaps to different pixels. 
So what it actually does, it creates like a border between, say, between the blue and the white pixels over here, and it snaps to only the blue pixels or the white pixels. And you can pretty much do this with anything you have. Say, for instance, you want to draw over here and just want to cover the skin, you can actually go all the way through here and it will just directly snap to the skin. You don't need to tap, you'll just go draw with your uh, mouse next to it and it will directly snap to the skin. I'm also moving around with the hand tool again by holding spacebar in my image and now I can pretty much just walk around in my image. All right, tap this and you back to the completed this whole selection and there you got your new selection again. So in here you can feather that again, you can fill it, you can duplicate it, you can cut it out, whatever you want to do. Do it on a mask, do it the right way and you can already work very precise and very constructive. All right, press command D again to get out of that and pretty much want to cover uh, the next tool again here, the quick selection tool and the magic one tool. Now I just want to delete quickly the gray layer and my second layer and just make a duplicate again of that, rename that again to layer two and we're back from the start, fresh at the start. Okay, gonna zoom in a little bit and no, actually I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, sorry. What I want to show you guys with the new tool over here, quick selection tool again, you got again at the top a different application bar with different modes of working with this tool. You can obviously change your brush size and also work on sample or layers or just one layer. I'm just going to work on layer two now and auto enhance. Okay, so I'm going to work on layer two now and with layer two you will have your brush size selected to whatever size you want to. Pretty much what helps me is if you select a bigger brush size, you will select more pixels at once. So if I want to now you will see that every pixels or all the pixels that's around this brush will be selected. Say for instance now if I'm going to make this nice and small I can actually just go around with my brush and start selecting all these pixels that are in the person. Okay over here and you created a nice quick selection with this uh, quick selection tool. Now if I'm going to draw over this a little bit it will start directly to pick all the blue pixels and whop, you've pretty much selected everything now. So we don't want it that, you just wanted to have the person, then you can actually go here into the top into the subtract mode and just paint that out again. Or you can hold also, if you're still in the plus mode you can hold alt and you get directly into the minus mode and then over here you can pretty much just very quickly paint that out again. Just to show you guys I'm just going to press command D. What I mostly use this tool for is just to cut out uh, persons or say if I want to just have a little bit of the arm I'll use this tool. It always depends. You can use again different tools. You can either use the polygon lasso tool, magnetic lasso tool, the normal lasso tool, whatever you want to. You can also use the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool for that. I mostly use the quick selection tool because that's for me the most convenient and the easiest. Say for instance I want to select a little bit of the skin I would do that again. Say for instance I want to add the hair, I can also do that. Then I didn't want to add the uh, cap here at the top, so I'll press m uh, Alt or hold Alt and just get into the minus mode and very closely again here paint that out. Over here a little bit, say the hair, I want to cover that, but I don't want to cover the, the jacket, so just paint over here very quickly. This tool comes in handy quite a lot. Okay, press Command D to get out of that again. And just now to show you guys once more, sometimes I use this tool in this way. I select a little bit of the person, then directly hold Alt, and just very roughly with the brush paint next to the person to just deselect the whole background already. And now I can be paint very roughly over the person, and the computer already knows, okay, I didn't want to select that or add that and it doesn't select that whole other blue pixels. Alright, got that. Now I can already say Command J, duplicate that layer or delete that layer or like I showed you before, you can do a lot of things with selections. Okay, delete that layer again and on layer 2 I pretty much want to also cover the magnetic wand tool. And this magnetic wand tool works quite uh, confusing and I see a lot of beginners work with this. I really don't like this tool, I never really work with this tool. What a magic wand tool pretty much does, it selects a whole wide range of pixels. Say all the pixels that have the same RGB reading, they will be selected. Say for instance now if I'm going to select into the dark blues over here, it will select all the dark blues until to the blues that get a little bit whiter until down here these pixels pretty much have all the same RGB reading. So if I'm going to select over here, it starts to create a whole new shape and as you guys can see in the background it has been a little bit white or the whole background has a lot of white pixels so it won't really pick those up. 
And yeah, all the blue pixels have been selected or say the darker blue pixels with the same RGB reading. Say if I'm going to go into the new mode again and just select a little bit in the skin here, it will select only all the white pixels that pretty much have the same RGB readings again. Say over here, select that and you will see that it selects all of that. If you hold shift now, you directly get into the plus mode as you guys can see. And with the plus mode, you can actually now just add on to that selection. It pretty much here at the top just selects the new or the add on selection and then I can tap into here, tap onto the hand and just tap my way through it and it starts to select more and more pixels. Also on the side here, for me this tool is very complicated to work with and it just takes a lot of time and it confuses you sometimes and you get frustrated while working with this. So I wouldn't prefer this tool at all. But it is in Photoshop and sometimes you really have it just by the hand you can use it very quickly for some small things mostly what I use is quick selection tool or the polygon lasso tool those two tools are for me the best and yes that's what I mostly work with this okay press command D deselect that again and we're out of that tool so these are just my few tools that I use to select some stuff as well like I said before the quick selection tool is the best for me out of the whole bunch alright so this was my quick uh, Photoshop tutorial on Photoshop basics and tools on part 2 if you still have any questions, please email me to team at manyphotography.co.za. I'm glad to help you guys with your questions. I hope you learned something in this tutorial and see you guys all next week in another new tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.